Hello, this is a lesson on estimating sums. It is lesson four of unit two whole numbers. So um, when we're talking about estimating sums in this lesson, um, we're going slightly simpler than what we have done for estimating in the past, just to give you um, some other strategies for rounding. And then in the next lesson, we'll do the actual rounding where um, we do four or less, let it rest five or more, raise the score. Okay, but just so you know, this is slightly different. So um, here is here is a reminder. So about how many, when you see that in a problem, um, that are the magical words that tell you that you need to estimate. So if it says about, then that means that you are estimating. You're not finding the exact answer. You're rounding and then finding a close answer to the real answer. So here's a question. Um, to help us get started, it says, Lorianne was one of 11,090 athletes at the 2004 Olympic Games. There were 10,951 athletes at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. Uh, about how many athletes attended both Olympic Games? Um, so, one strategy that you can use is front end rounding. So when you do front end round, rounding, all you do, and you're gonna like this, is you just look at the front number, or the front digit on each number, and then just add those together and put everything else zeros. It's, it's so simple, it's just not very accurate. Okay, so this strategy uses only front digits to estimate. This is where you simply look at the front two digits of each number and add them together. So you can see, we've got the 11,090, and that gets rounded to just 11,000. And then we've got 10,651, and that just gets rounded to um, 10,000. And then we add 11,000 plus 10,000. And then we would get uh, oh, 20, 21,000. But that's not the exact answer, that's just the about answer. Okay, and then you would write a sentence um, where there are more than two, oh, you write a sentence here, sorry. Uh, I think this answers the question. I don't want to go all the way over there to scroll it up and then scroll it down. But, um, okay, so since it's a problem, remember you always answer in the form of, of a sentence. Okay, and then it says, where there are more than two numbers, look at only the first digit of each number and then use compensation to adjust for the inaccuracies. So to use compensation, you alternate rounding the first number up and down. Um, this ensures the number is not too small compared to what the real answer might be. So instead of, uh, you'll notice that this there's 651 after this one, okay? Um, so we're getting rid of almost 700 people by rounding this. If we add this 90 and we're getting rid of 700 people, which is quite a few, right? So in compensation, that is trying to take into account that some numbers will be bigger and some will be smaller. Um, and then, so you just, uh, you do this. So if I had 11,090 plus 10,651 plus 10,320 plus 9,956 plus 8,465, and I was going to use compensation front end rounding, um, then I would alternate. So I would round down, then up, then down, then up. So I look at these, these front digits here. And then this one, I'm going to keep the same. This one, I'm going to go up. This one, keep the same. This one, go up. This one, keep the same, right? So now I've got 11,000 plus 11,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 8,000. And then I have a more accurate answer. And here we've got down, up, down, up, down, up. And technically this is going down because it's uh, slightly smaller than the other number. It's just this number actually stays the same. Okay, so if I were to add all of this together, I would have 22, 32, 42, 50, 50,000. See how, see how fast I uh, did that? In my head, I couldn't do that with all these other numbers if I didn't round it. And that's the whole purpose of rounding, is to be able to do the math in your head, not 
not uh, doing it on paper all the time. And then the other strategy is compatible numbers. So this strategy has you look for pairs of numbers that are easy to work with. For example, mul multiples of 10 are compatible numbers. Um, so to estimate the actual numbers with numbers that are compatible. So it's like um, if I had, let's say, 23 plus 17. Well, I know that the 3 from 23 and the 7 plus 17 equal 10. So I don't necessarily have to round this number. I know it just equals 10 and then I can add it. But if I had, say, uh, 24 plus 17, I could round 24 to 23 and then get those compatible numbers that way to make it equal 10. That's basically what you're doing is trying to uh, make the end numbers equal 10 or a multiple of 10, like 100 or 1,000. Okay, so in this case, um, we've got 11,090 and 10,651 again. And so if I just round this uh, 90 to 100, and then I round the 651 to 650, I can do this in my head easily now. Because um, now all I have to do is add this 100 to 650, that's going to be 750. So now I know... that my answer is 21,750. And now we're accounting for more people than we had in the, um, com or not compatible numbers, this is compatible numbers in the front end round. Okay, here's an example. It says this chart shows the seating capacity, capacity of each NHL Canadian team's home arena. So we've got the Calgary Flames, Edmonton Oilers, uh, Montreal Canadiens, Ottawa Senators, Toronto Maple Leafs, and Vancouver Canucks, Canucks and there's all the numbers for them. Um, and it looks like there needs to be a space in between that 8 and 6 right here to make it easier to read. But the question says down here, question 1, suppose the game was sold out in Vancouver and in Calgary. Um, about how many people are attending the, or attended these two games? Uh, use front end rounding to solve. So front end rounding, and we're going Calgary and Vancouver. So this is Calgary, this is Vancouver. Um, and we need to use front end rounding. So we're just going to look at this and this number here. And it doesn't say compensation, so we just go 20,000 plus, and then we just look at the 18, we ignore that the 6 is there and technically would bump it up, and then we go 20 plus 18, oh that's easy, that's 38, so 38,000. Um, and then to save time here, to answer in the form of a question, I mean in the form of an an a sentence, about 38,000 uh, people attended these two games. Okay, um, and then the one below. All right, so the NHL ordered 35,000 pennants to give away for the opening Leafs and Oilers games. The games were sold out. Will there be a pennant for everyone? Use compatible numbers to help you solve. Okay, so our numbers are, oh, 18,819 and 17,100. Okay, so we're supposed to use compatible numbers to help us solve, and remember that's looking at sort of the, the smaller numbers and seeing if there's a way to work and uh, add those together easily in our head. And I do see a way to do that. Um, this is already 100, so I'm just gonna leave it. And then I'm gonna turn this 819 into just 800 because 800 is closer, uh, or 819 is closer to 800 than it is to 900. Okay, so that will leave me with 18,800. Uh, plus 17,100 and then all I need to do is I can add the 100 plus the 900 and that'll be, I mean 800, that'll be 900 and then the 7 plus the 8 and the 5. So 18 plus 17 should be 35. Okay, so if the estimated number of people is 35,900 and uh, we round it down to get to that number, then that means that, uh, no, the NHL did not order 
enough. Tennis for everyone. Okay, and that's how we can figure it out. Instead of uh, finding the actual answer, we can just estimate and then we can tell that no, there won't be enough. Okay, so your textbook assignment's on page 51 to 52. And then, so you're gonna do question one. And then for question four, you're going to do front end rounding. And then for question five, you're going to do compatible numbers. And then there's seven and nine. And make sure you pay attention to that on this sheet because it doesn't say that in the textbook uh, for the four and uh, five.